G'day guys, it's Tom Scully from Cricket Mentoring for Mindset Monday. Today I'm talking about moving on and letting go of a bad game so that it doesn't ruin your next performance. We've had a few people contact us who have just started their season and they've started well with one or two good games, then they've had a bad game and they said it's really affected them and it's meant they've had two or three bad games in a row. Now the best players are able to move on from a bad game very quickly. All the best players understand and they know that having a bad game or a bad performance is part of playing cricket. We can't expect to perform at our best and dominate every single game. So part of um, this lesson is learning to accept you're not going to perform at your best all the time. If you have a bad game, that's okay. You just want to learn from your mistakes and move forward. Simon spoke in a video last week about different, having two different types of mistakes and learning from your mistakes. So as long as you're learning from it, it can actually be a good thing. Learn from what you didn't do well, then it's all about forgetting about it, moving on mentally and emotionally, so that when you arrive at the next game, you're not holding on to those thoughts and feelings of the previous poor performance. You've got to try and arrive at the next game, upbeat, feeling good about yourself, and really looking forward to that next game and the next challenge, not going over and over in your mind what had happened in the previous game. So the key message for today is to try and forget about a bad performance as quickly as you can, learn from it, and then forget about it, and then just focus your attention, get your preparation right for the next match or the next performance, the next game. Don't dwell on the past. Hope that helps, guys. If you do have any questions, please don't um, feel afraid to send them in. Contact us on... Uh, on Facebook or on YouTube or on Instagram. Cheers.